Hey, what's up guys, it's Darkroom Duel. Since today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a different video, I'm gonna be doing a case ratio of my dual overloads. A lot of you guys were requesting this because there was a lot of cards opened in that video, so excuse me if it's a little bit shaky, but I am doing this entirely by hand. I am going to go over every single card that I pulled and the amount that I pulled in my case of dual overloads. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly what we pulled. So here we go, but before we do, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell down there so you guys can become part of notification squad and let's get started on this so first off we're going to go to the one ofs that we pulled which all of the one ofs are right here we pulled one lib one madam veer one of the speedroid hex saucer one compulse one mayakashi mayhem witchcrafter creation king dragon magical formula one copy of our chris drawn needle fiber or gila braxy i don't know uh, Yuki Oni, the Absolute Mayakashi, Five-Headed Dragon, and the Ritual Monster in here, Sign Up Mining, and the Rose Bloom, and Mystical Space Typhoon. Oh my god, I never thought I would see Mystical Space Typhoon as a short print, but hey, whatever. Then, going on to our spells and traps, we pulled three copies... Let me get up really quick so you guys can see it. We pulled three copies of Cubic Cataclysm. Let me get that to autofocus for you guys. We pulled one, two, three, four five six seven of those we pulled one two three four five six of the cubic ascension we pulled three six of our cubic t or malefic tunes we pulled five malefic paradox gear three golden castles of stormberg we pulled five copies of cubic durama we pulled four malefic selections or five malefic selections three copies of malefic divide we pulled five Hysteric Signs, only two copies of Kingyo Skula. We pulled two copies of Malefic Territory, which kind of got under my nerves because it's a 10 cent card that I paid $300 for a case, and I only pulled two copies of it, which is super disappointing, but I'm going to order them, so that deck profile is going to be a little bit on hold. We pulled, I believe we pulled... Yeah, we pulled uh, five copies of Dynamuscus, just one copy short of a place, two play sets. We pulled uh, two, three, six copies of Enema's Judgment, four copies of our Lockdown, Deck Lockdown, Awakening of the Possessed, we pulled two copies of, four copies of Zombie World, two copies of our Graveyard of Wandering Souls, four copies of Terraforming, Three copies of Cyber Over Overflow. We pulled six copies of our Synchro Transcendence. Four copies of our Double Evolution Pill. Three copies of Cyber Emergency. Moving over into the Monsters, or actually moving over into the rest of the spells, we pulled three copies, or uh, excuse me, six copies of Hollow Giant. We pulled a bunch of copies of our Card of Fate which is actually going to be one, two, three, four, five, six copies of Card of Fate. We pulled a bunch of copies, which is three, six copies of Chaos Goddess. We pulled five copies of Caspar, four copies of Starfire. We pulled about seven, I believe, of our Swap Frogger, eight, two, three, six, yeah, eight. We pulled four Vanities Rulers. We pulled two of the Trap Trick Monster, the new Trap Trick. We pulled... Three Chaos Dragon Levinaires, three, six, eight Celestials, we pulled four White Mares, we pulled three, five uh, Zaphros the Elite, three of the Newer Art of Tour Guide, we pulled four Orthos, we pulled five of the Firebrand Monster, three Phantasmes, which was kind of exciting, we pulled... Four cop five copies of Magellan, two Gigaplants, and Watt Draft seemed to be one of the easiest cards to pull in the set, which was, we pulled seven of those, I believe. Two, four, six, seven, yeah. So moving into the Link Monsters, which I know is what you guys were kind of interested in, which we did miss two Link Monsters, and we did actually miss a couple of cards in the set, which we missed five cards in the entire set, which I'll go over with you guys at the end of the video. We pulled one of the flames, or we pulled, it's not one, four of the flame swordsmen. We pulled six of the alien link. Buster Blader Link Monster was the literal easiest card besides Watt Draft Pull, which was sitting at three, seven, I believe. We pulled four of the Zeke. We pulled 
two of the Celestial Knight Parashaft, two of the Tenyi Link. We pulled two, four, six, seven of the Hyper Director, two of the Relinquished Link Monster, two Smorg, two Stealth Units of the Super Vehicle Roid, four copies of Stealth or er, of uh, Wise Strix. Wise Strix to me, like everybody was hyping that card up, and I really feel like it's going to be an awesome card, but at the same time, I feel like it's amazing that they didn't short print it because this card would have been extremely expensive if they would have short printed it. We've got our four copies of Ojama Emperor, three copies of the Pendulum uh, Link Monster, which is Selene, Queen of Master Magicians. We pulled, which I just realized, the uh, Evil Eye of Selene and her being Selene. I wonder if she created the Evil Eyes. Hmm. Just a thought there. Uh, our copies of Salamangrite Alamirage, we pulled a bunch of those, which we pulled three, uh, seven of those. Three of the Ancient Gear Ballistas, we did get lucky and pull four Anacondas, which is crazy good because that card is literally walking super polymerization. Two copies of the Union Carrier, two copies of the Condemned Dark Lord, which I really wish I would pull more of her, but she was short printed anyways, I believe. So, I mean, I'm okay with two because I only really need two for my deck, so that's fine to expect Dark, Dark Lord soon if I haven't already posted that. We got four copies of our Bloom, which is the Melodious Link Monster. We've got five copies of the Mirage Light. We've got two of the Mecha Phantom Beast Link Monsters. Two of the Extra Hero Infernal Divisor. We've got four copies of our DDD Abyss King Gilgamesh. Two of the Cyber Dragon Alternative Artworks of Infinity. We've got two Crossroads Dragons. Four copies of Phantasm Emperor. We've got... Two Last Warriors from Another Planet. We've got a bunch of Cyframe Lord Omegas, which is five copies of Cyframe Lord Omegas. Two copies of our Starving Venom uh, Lethal Dose Dragon. We've got five copies of Fuma. We've got a bunch of these cards. Nightmare. It seems like Nightmare, Watt Giraffe, um, the Buster Blader Link Monster, and the Reptilian Link Monster were the easiest ones for me to pull. And Celestial and Swap Frog. Like, those were the easiest ones in my, that I found. Um, Nightmare was really easy to pull. That card was really, 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 really easy to pull. I actually pulled um, two, four, six, eight of those. We pulled two, four, six, seven of the Reptilian Link. The other card that we pulled was the Dark Rebellion or Dark Dragon, which we pulled two, four, six of those. I thought I was going to have more of those. We pulled a bunch of the Digusto Emeralds, which was two, four, six, eight of Digusto Emerald. Number 27, we actually pulled two, four, six of those. The Chocolate Alamode, I thought was going to get short printed, but we pulled three of them, which is not terrible. And we pulled three copy or four copies of the Star Leader uh, Dragon, which I kept calling Star Liege. So that's all the cards that we actually pulled in the entire set. Now, we did miss a couple of cards in the set. The cards that we missed were Kangari. I did not pull Kangari. I missed five total. Kangari, Infinite and Permanence. I did not pull Impermanence, which I'm kind of disappointed about, but whatever. Um, I missed uh, the Bujin Link the and the Artifact Link, and there was one other card that I missed. Um... I don't remember what the other card that I missed was, but I missed one other card. If you guys know what it is, comment down below. I had it in my head right before this video, but it was the it was the Kangari, it was the Bujin Link, it was um, the Artifact Link, it was Impermanent, and it was Dingritsu. It was Dingritsu. That's what it was, the Orcus. But it's okay because I already had two copies of those. But I'm kind of surprised that they short printed Dingritsu. But what I'm kind of like bummed about for anybody who doesn't already have witchcrafters is is they short printed witchcrafter creation and they short printed madam veer it seems like to me and i'm seeing this not only in my case but a lot of other cases as well now i have seen cases where people have pulled up to three copies of the christian needle fiber but at the same time i'm over here pulling four Verde Anacondas, which I highly, I really think this card is going to get limited. I don't think that this card is going to stay at three. It's already limited in the OCG. Union Carrier was two. Again, the big cards that were the the four big Link Monsters that I'm seeing people want out of this set 
was these three and then the needle fiber. So we pulled one, two, three, and four of them, which is kind of ironic because you need, you know, they're the top four. But that's it for the video, guys. I just really quickly wanted to show you guys this because you, everybody was asking what the exact ratios were. So really quickly, we're going to do a quick overview. So if you guys m didn't want to watch the entire video, because I know how it is, I watch YouTube too. There is the entire box right there the entire case that i opened the whole thing right there is what i opened and everybody was talking about sign up mining like even farfa was talking about sign up mining being limited or like not limited but like very short printed because they didn't even pull one in their case that they got when konami showed them a preview of it so that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of this video down in the comments down below. If I open a case up, I might do more stuff like this where I show you guys exactly what I pull in a later video. But I just really quickly wanted to show you guys this and show you what I pulled. So there's a couple of cards that I kind of need, like Malefic Territory. I'll probably get another one of those. The Trap Trick Monster over there, I'll probably get another one of those. I might buy a play set of Impermanence so I can finally have that. But I don't think Impermanence is going to be more than $15. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duels. Tell me what you think I did on this video. Tell me what you think, how I pulled in my case. I think I did pretty good. I mean, three Phantasmes, the Christian Link, four Anacondas. Like, this was a godly box, guys. This was really good. So, anyways, guys, see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.